So this is Men 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 the podcast about your uh, what we do we talk everything concerning mm-hmm. mental health lakini uh, uh, tulikuwa tuna tunazungumzia zaidi au tulikuwa tumejikita zaidi kuzungumza kuhusiana na wanaume and again why tunazungumzia wanaume moja to normalize conversation kuhusiana mental health kwa wanaume pili ni sio kitu ambacho watu wanazungumza tatu we we'll say this over and over again about tutaisema tena wanaume sio miungo watu jamani mm-hmm. yani sio miungo watu we are not super beings uh, sio kwamba tuna roho kama ubao kwamba tuna hisia and stuff mm-hmm. like that you know uh, tunakuwa affected na mambo mengi yanayofanyika na vile vile hakuna conversation kuhusiana na mental health kwa wanaume ambao inatokea mm-hmm. At least objectively I would like to think you know yeah. at least objectively so he make one safe space for so long kusiana ambayo uh, inaweza ika, ikaleta brothers together na kuja kukaa na kuzungumziana kusiana different challenges ambazo tunapitia how to overcome sometimes maybe not how to overcome but just to know kwamba you know the only one ambayo unapitia uh, what you're going through and that alone is enough kujua kwamba sio kwamba wewe peke yako umebeba dunia kwamba kila mtu ana mizigo yake huko mm. so Basically that is what we do. Mimi naitwa Michael Baruti and Nadia is here with us. Yes. Nadia is a brother by association. Um <laughs> we used to call, we used to say men by association. Now we graduate you're not just a man. Now you're a brother. brother. We've to na to na we can now invite you on our inner circle. Yeah. You've earned that. <laughs> You've earned that. So yeah, Nadia is a uh, is a counselor slash therapist. Uh, she runs her own practice in Ito Mind Matters. Ambayo unaweza ukaipata Twitter Mind Matters TZ or uh, Instagram Mind Matters TZ. Lakini kama you want to book a session through Mind Matters, you go to the uh, Instagram or Facebook. There's the link in the bio. Itakupeleka kwenye website and then utapata njia kuweza kuasia na naye. So yeah. basically ukipata hizo stages zote manake kweli utashida naye. Yeah that's like an elimination process. Tunaanza kupunguza tunaanza kupunguza wale ambao hawana shida. You know if you go through all those steps ukampata then you are good unaweza kuasiliana naye. And today on our first episode Toka to Merudi episode yetu namba 51 we are blessed as always we are lucky we have another brother with us Bwana Justice Rutenge. Yes. yes. Amen. Mm. Poema. Poema kabisa. First thing first on gera kwa kuoa. Umefanya kitu ambacho vijana wengine wanakimbia mjini hapo. Asante asante. You literally run in the opposite direction watu wanapoenda. Watu wanaenda huko justice mbogo kwenda huko. Nimeamua nifuate nia zangu. Eh thank you. Ai. Tembea na mimi justice. Tembea na mimi. Tuna no form of book. Tembea na mimi. So congratulations man. Thanks a lot man. Yeah. And well, what a justice I was telling him here kwamba Just as you continue to check your Instagram is all about cooking man. Eh, I'll find any more your company for us to get into the kind of useless husbands. Kwamba we don't cook. All we do is men who are play by game football na ku entertain watoto na vitu kama hivyo. Kwa hiyo bwana Jesse si anakwenda mbele zaidi anapika na nini na vitu kama hivyo. Anaonesha different a different view of what a husband should look like i don't know what does what does that say about me nadia i don't know get a different view what does that say about my view <laughs> mine has many options eh <laughs> there's a stay home mom there's a working mom there's a stay home dad stay home dad a working dad there's a mom who doesn't cook and there are moms who cook mm. there are dads who don't cook and dads who cook Yeah, this is working as well, you know. So, yes. they're not mutually exclusive. They're not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you're relegated to either cooking to or simplify. <laughs> and trying to make me feel better. This is you know, you just come Yeah, it is. It is. It goes beyond that. You know? But it's a different template. It is a different template. So yeah, so justice here. Justice Karim Sanam. Asante, Asante Sanam. And thank you for giving us this time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for giving us your time. We really really appreciate it because babu tunajua Everybody has their own thing going right now like you come to Kitenga muda kusema kwamba let's come tukutane and then share knowledge it, it, it means a lot to us so thank you for having us here man thanks for having me i've been a follower of the of a show of the show for um, quite some time now we, so. we are honored, my man we so are to be, to be here finally yeah mm-hmm. so so before we get to yeah. before we get to uh, tunachotaka kuzungumza you are a comms expert i um, would like to say that 
Ni yes, mtu ni mtu wa communication. I think ex- expert is such a big word. I shy away from it many times. <laughs> Let's say ni mtu wa mawasiliano. Yeah, but I do communication. You do so communication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you do communication for a yeah. living. So talk us t- you know tell us about your job a little bit and then we'll dive into what we want to talk about it here. Right, right. So um so I'm trained in in uh, both communication and and development and you know so my history is I uh, nilikuwa nikifanya kazi katika um, an intersection of these two things. Um, so if I may call myself an expert in something, uh, that would be development communication. Um, so I consult for special international organizations, um, supporting their work that has to do with media, communications. Uh, but other than that, um, I also do what in this field we call um, results measurement, um, which is you know monitoring, evaluation, research, learning, uh, kind of. The best way to think about become an audit function yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you know programs yeah. uh, yes so that's that's what i do and um, i also run um, a creative communication agency that mostly especially does um animation and we were lucky at some point to um uh, do at least two seasons of um a national political satire um show called pillow tv mm-hmm. uh, which was you know first on itv and went to um clouds yeah so that's what i do i consult in you know so um um so justice is a comms guy you know ni mtu wa Australian so i guess by now he ina a little bit of uh, if you're listening that gives a little bit of a gist about kitu ambacho nataka kuja kuzungumzia so basically nataka kuzungumzia wanaume na communication au wanaume na mawasiliano wanaume na kuwasiliana wanaume na namna ya kuwasiliana wanaume na namna ya kutawasiliana kwa nini wanaume tuwasiliane je wanaume tunawasiliana wanaume tunajua any it's, it's 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 a lot of things man and uh, it's a lot of things and as 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 we go on, maybe tesa ku, ku unpack one after another but i think if you if you go i think if you go back one of the reasons i'm about to say kwamba let's speak about it ni kwamba um i think kama kama mtu unetusikiliza sasa hivi on social media nadhani utaona cases the lot of suicide cases ambazo zimekuwa zimetokea between january february march april mm. and then, i mean we see them every day but i feel like there was a moment hata kwa tanzania we are getting a lot of cases mm. you know mm. na, 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 na it's not even cases about this zinatokea kwenye miji mikubwa sijui dar es salaam arusha mwanz you find cases ambazo zinatokea in interior parts of tanzania zinakuwa reported kwamba mtu amejitundika kwenye mti mtu amejichoma mtu amejiua na ni nani na vitu kama hivyo na tukaanza kufuatilia conversation nyingi um, so as always you know social media a uh, conversations kaanza kuja kwamba and then most cases kwanza takwimu ziko na wale wengi walikuwa wengi zaidi mm. kwenye 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 hizi cases kwa zinatokea and then conversation kwenye social media zikaanza kuwa around uh, mental health na wanaume wanaume na uwezo wa communicate uh, jamii iko tayari kumsikiliza mwanaume na communicate je mwanaume na communicate vipi na nini na vitu kama hivyo so you figured okay the moment we are back na tukaanza ku address na tukaanza kuzungumzia uh, men, na tukaanza kufanya tena men 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 the podcast it's only right we start with that but that's the core of what we are trying to do here as the podcast mm. amen as ngumbuzia so as mental health so maybe kwa kuanzia and i would love to get both of you your opinion as well is it true concept nzima ya kwamba jamii haiko tayari kumpokea mwanaume ambaye anaweza ku communicate hisia zake. Kwa one of the things about tunaskia ni kwamba tunasema we don't think the society kwa tayari kumpokea mwanaume ambaye uh, anaweza kueleza hisia zake. Is that true from the from your opinion na oh, you live in this society we mm. see things you know what do you feel I can start with you justice and then how oh, you want to do the ladies first thing. <laughs> No, I, we said she's a bro, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's okay, it's okay. So I'll, I'll start, I'll start. Yeah. Um no, so kwanza mimi ninge 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 jiuliza eh tunaposema jamii haiko tayari kumpokea mwanaume anaye communicate hisia. Jamii yenyewe ni ni nani? Um so I'd say eh, kuna historia kubwa sana ya sisi wanaume tumetengeneza mfumo ambao unatu unatufeva sisi um, mwenyewe. Uh, I think kitu ambacho tulisahau katika leo ni kwamba Uh, you know the you know the, the higher monkey climbs up on a tree uh, the more exposed you know the tail mm. you know to put it in uh, kind of polite terms um, <laughs> the tail is exposed um, so system of automatonyeza yenyewe ndio ina 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 relegate emotions to you know the secondary place um, to insignificance basically kwamba hakuna nafasi ya emotion so we are rational uh, beings to communicate based on logic based on facts Um, so at the end of the day, that system you know, ends up hurting CC 
um, CC uh, when you I think there's room for individual men to be talk on your system rather than uh, blaming it on 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 society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think yeah. the system will to make to make create CC. And now we are paying for it. Yes, we are. <laughs> Many you have a different take on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I concur. I agree. Because up here we can get a society who makes up the society. Mm -hmm kwa sababu mimi nikikaa nikasema leo mimi siwezi nikaongea si, siwezi kupaza sauti yangu ninajinyamazisha mwenyewe you know so sijui hata kama kuna mtu anaweza kanisikiliza au kani support kwa sababu tayari nimeshajiambia nimeweka i perception muonekano kwamba hamna mtu atanisikiliza and so i don't even try yeah lakini you'd be surprised kwamba unaweza ukaongea ni kujua platform na platform kwa sababu pia as rational beings, sisi so wanyama. Tunajua, tunajua kwa assess, we use logic, we can see, we can evaluate. Wapi naweza nikaongea freely, wapi bado itachukua muda mpaka these people soften up. Yeah, so using that knowledge kuangalia okay, mimi kuna watu gani ambao naweza nikaongea nao kuhusu vitu hivi na watu ambao siwezi kuongea nao. Lakini at the end of the day we make up society. Yeah, so leo nikiamua yeah. kujibadilisha mm -hmm. mimi, mm -hmm. ninaweza kumpa mtu wa pili pale pembeni yangu aone kwamba okay it's possible na yeye akafunguka. Mm -hmm. Na mwingine akafunguka. And next thing we know tumeshabadilisha society from so, one person. So big bring me back to my next question now. Do men know how to communicate? As now to sit to mmoja mmoja. Because I to get up with you mmoja mmoja, kila mmoja say I'm good, I'm good, I'm sorry. Lakini less tuzungumzie wengi na katika mazingira ambayo tunaoka do we feel like we as men know how to communicate properly no and i think a resounding no kwa sababu um the way i look at it naona kama kama our style of communication is very one dimension um, like i said earlier ama kama nadia anasema hapa um, tunajua sana ku communicate kuhusu you know facts mm. logic we, we pretend to be rational to ignore emotional um, side so we can communicate mm -hmm. very well when it comes to things that require us to use our reasoning yes lakini uh, where our emotions are involved uh, we do terribly um, in that in that area kwa sababu um, one of our primary drivers for communicating is actually uh, protecting our position a position of power kwa uh, sababu so historically tumekuwa na na sehemu kubwa zaidi um, katika society ambayo tumejiweka sisi wenyewe um, by the way, so I could call it a tyrannical, uh, um, uh, you know, sort of <laughs> kind of power. Ni dictator mkubwa kabisa. Um, ya sato na tuna, inatu, inatupa shida in terms of now, um, tunakuwa challenged now because of gender roles and shift is nabadilika. Um, inabidi, uh, na sisi tujifunze, who communicate um, um, emotionally, who communicate our emotions, our feelings, our fears, and that's something that we are not uh, inclined to do. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it's funny that I think one of the things that a lot of a lot of people wanna wanna relate to Naume or one thing when someone who can easily communicate is anger. You know, if kama kuna kitu ambacho she says kama Naume tunaweza tuka tuka kuwasilisha kwa rais zaidi ni hasira. You know, everybody can tell when you are angry, you know? Yeah. And then you feel like I don't know, but and, and 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 maybe sometimes we can we can take it back over some gums and Luciana society society to live because Sababu you go back a lot of time we cannot to Azima or come over no more to keep one on your gear, yes, one of the key corner checka checka, one of the key wave, you know, keep calm. We would like to be a sneak out as my duty. Now, Pacalo, you could not talk on beer to Kuakama Baba, you buy me, yeah, who's going to check a checker here, see, and Maramoja Moya. When I said, as long as you come over, you put it in my mind, I'm like, so. The only way I can get you to come up is it to get you to me in a sira, to get me to pay this a sauti, to get me to find it. And little, little do we know, or little, any kwa kutoku, kwa kutoku fikiria kwa undani, we are also building another society. I'm going to end up with him, him, him. Especially for kids, because when I show na the abacho. One end of Kufania, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, so it has been there for ages. And sometimes I'm like, are we ever going to be able to unpack this? Mm. Yeah, and that's actually we're building a. I don't know. I don't want to say this. I'm not. It's a pessimistic outlook. <laughs> but kwa sababu tunaongea kitu kimoje after nafanya kingine. So unaona mtu naongea okay yeah, now it's you know what in a bit to express to ongea, lakini actions tofauti. 
So now mtoto anakuwa anasikia kitu messaging fulani alafu but anaona action tofauti. So in this child's head obviously atafata actions they will do what they see is done. Mm. Lakini kwenye akili lo, like logically what they've encoded is don't do this. Mm. But that is what they they're being driven to do. So now there's dissonance. Kwenye kichwa vinagongana. Action zao na what what they're telling themselves in the head and what they've heard are two different things. That makes it even worse. Bora ta useme mwanaume ni kazi yake yani the only emotion is anger and they see anger is displayed. So hapo at least I'm not saying that that's not the ideal. Yeah. That's not the ideal. Uh, <laughs> but at least then we're not affecting our own mental health because mm-hmm. when we have dissonance kwenye kichwa chetu, dissonance meaning what I'm thinking and what I'm doing are not matching. Yeah. Then that affects my my mental health, my well-being. Kwa sababu unajiona kwamba okay, am I a fraud? Maana nasema hichi nafikiria hichi lakini nafanya hivi. Mm. And now naanza kuwa mwenye internal ter- turmoil kabla hata external world hawajani attack. Kwa sababu let's face it, square leo like if you do something that the society does not agree with whether logically most logically kwa sababu unaweza kumkuta mtu anafanya hivyo hivyo ambavyo anapopo uh, condemn. Mm. <laughs> so logically what to attack and now we shall have to attack mwenye kwamba what the hell is happening and then unapata externally that really puts us in a bad mental um, when it comes to our mental health it puts us in a bad state yeah um, let me let me also jump in kidogo hapo unavosema kwamba tunaweza ku express anger um, so i think nilikuwa na maanisha hivyo nikisema kwamba sisi tuko very one dimensional kwenye our communication I mean, it's sort of ni kama watoto wachanga ama ama wanyama mm. you know um, akiwa na express furaha kilio akiwa uh, na anataka maziwa kilio kilio it's like language inatusaidia sana yeah. kwa sababu there's a whole bunch of words that you can use to express what you're feeling mm. of course mimi mimi nadhani um, hisia za mwanadamu hisia moyo wa mwanadamu ni kama kisima ambacho ni bottomless it's a bottomless mm-hmm. uh, pit if you access it Um, there's no there's no end you know you can go on and on and on and on kwa sababu ni emotions um za mwanadamu lakini kwa sababu sisi tumejiwekea hiyo limitation um now tunakuwa bound in terms of how we express a wide range of emotions kwa uh, sababu we are careful kwamba niki express namna hii namna ile tanionesha kama weak but mm. anger isn't really seen as as weakness it's not frowned upon and that's i think one thing that um, we need to we need, that needs to change have we have yeah. we have we praise anger so much cuz kwamba imekuwa normalized to the extent kwamba we don't even feel bad about it cuz in in reality i mean how i look at it and this has come from reading and mm. seeing things na kuongea na you for a while now you know i've come to realize that sometimes ex- i mean it's okay to feel angry but then how you choose to express it is a whole different thing yeah. you know but i think we have chosen a certain way and and, and it goes back to vit kama this is why we have vit kama gender based violence na vit kama kwa sababu tumei praise sana swala zima la kurali la ya kuonyesha hasira ambayo kwa wanaume wengi ya like this is all your society is about it's okay pigi kwa sababu mwanamke kidogo ile ashtuke ajie kwa mbona pen it's 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 it is what it is yeah, yeah. So you know? think what's happened with Will Smith. Mm. Mm. Ukiangalia okay, comment like the conversations. Utaona like some comments and there are people who are like no that's not really you shouldn't do that. It, there's no justification. Hata kama leo mtu amemtukana mke wako mbele yako, you know you don't go hit you don't use violence. Mm. There are so many ways we can deal with that. There are so many ways we can put that person in their place ili baadaye asirudie. You know? But in his defense he most people want to say no but he was defending his woman his wife you mm. know like also what chris rock did was just not you do not joke on someone's health mm-hmm. that's just wrong mm-hmm. right like in will smith's reaction he really as you said it's like a tip of the iceberg he just needed one more push pop you know and he just i think he was he has been angry maybe mm-hmm. and that was the day that that was just the the last straw mm-hmm. So, uh, but you can see in social media now too. Yeah, my man should protect me like that. So this this is reinforcement, <laughs> right? We don't care what the man should protect his family. Lazima you have to stand up for me because so violence and uh 
using this one dimensional way of expressing emotion because I'm sure that he was hurt that you were making fun of my mm. wife. It wasn't just anger. Mm. Yeah. Anger most a lot of the time is a surface emotion. Mm. There is usually Absolutely, a yeah. deeper, more vulnerable emotion underneath it. Mm. Yeah, so it can be primary like in mdamwingi ukichunguza uka dig deep. It is that not, was definitely that was, shame. Yeah. Shame. It was yeah. shame. Yeah. You know, it was other stuff underneath it. But anger as you said it's you know it's one i know how to deal with this i've seen how it's done and that's the approach i love sasa tukija sasa the rest of us society tunasema yeah that's how you should be to na reinforce unamwambia mtu kwamba what you did was good so next time you do it again but also another thing about you to the same context but also the boy from Philly project is from the hood going out that's how you put people in their places you know there's a, in the same as in the same look at it this way in the same as for instance nimekulia katika mazingira ambayo i've had to fight kwa kila kitu ambacho nilicho na and sometimes physically fight you get it pigana na okay with siblings it might be kind of kidogo a little bit different but kuna muda ambao mnaweza mkaacha kupigana lakini nje unapigana Shule umefika form 1 unaonewa you like no nimeenda bodi nitakiwa kunielea mimi form 1 kwa hiyo we fight nafika form 2 adolescence na bale unjuaje wa kila kitu una fight form 4 umesoma katika shule ambayo is all about violence na na tunazo na tunaata best stories ana kwa mimi mpaka form 4 kupigana kupigana na walimu umeenda chuo so all your life mekuwa condition kujua kwamba this is the only way ambao mimi naweza nini nika express na inakuwa rewarded kwa sababu you feel better what wana kuheshimu zaidi mm. your peers look up to you hamna mtu anakuchezea yeah. you know so all of these are rewards ambazo zina reinforce like in michael that's that's his early uh, life you know mm-hmm. after being exposed to so much money and fame yes. and to get to where he he, he was or he is you know, yeah. still and nisha mshusha tayari you must permission to cancel this guy just cancel you me permission to cancel you for you so to 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 get to where he is he had to conduct himself at mm. the highest professional level. Yeah. You can't tell me kwamba hiyo sababu you grew up in field kwa sababu with your background your childhood you've conducted yourself professionally for 30 years yeah. you know since you were talk up on your limelight and then this one single event if you find you uharibu you know a yeah, reputation ambayo yeah. umeijenga umeye, umeye, kwa miaka 30 I don't I don't really it's not an excuse for yes, you. Yes I think mm. something happened lakini you know uh, baada ya Yeah, he's early um, yeah. yes. So which, which we, we bring, bring, brings me back to the something about the Takasi to Zungumze now. As men then, how do we how do we learn to communicate better? How? Because like you say Nanya, could a very big contradiction. So if you look so for instance you look in relationships and also and I'm talking about like say marriage or mm. you know mm. that kind of relationship mtu anakwambia no you should protect your wife you know against any harm that in of it come in it's not just in marriages yeah but, you know in, you know generally mm. reason, as a father yeah. you should protect your you know protect your wife and kids and it come in and so you found and sometimes to now to na equate protection when you vit come but then again and you look at come on we both to know come you protect you provide you preside You know mm. so basically those are the things I'm going with me in a tumbie and all of a sudden I'm going to make a barut na podcast yake men 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 is like no <laughs> you don't do that this mom of this is kafanya kunaisha mental so as a man I'm like how do I how do I communicate now how do I how do I unlearn that and how do I start to express myself and my emotions better how first by acknowledging that I need to so na kitu chochote kitatokea if wewe unaona sina amna tatizo lolote in how i communicate so that's the start wewe ukabadilisha mtu ambaye haoni any value or any that there's nothing that needs to be changed yeah hiyo ndio changamoto i think I'll, i'll strongly agree with that uh, as well mimi nadhani uh, mo, value moja kubwa sana ambayo ina inasaidia kuwa nayo katika maisha especially as a you know, you know, kwa wote lakini as a man kwa sababu ya background tulipotokea mm. uh, ni reflexivity you know wale uwezo kukaa kujiuliza maswali kuhusu you know kwa nini niko nilivyo mm. kwa nini najisikia hivi um, you know eh, motive zangu ni nini especially that eh, so la motive kwa sababu eh, tumezaliwa kwenye 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 background ambayo 
we are conditioned to take for granted a lot of things that have to do with you know weakness and emotions and, and whatnot. Can you expand on that a little? Yeah, um, Kwamba. Um, so 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 when you level your household, um, right? Tunajua kwamba the semi-feminist movement ime 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 kamata momentum just a few years ago, you know, barely 50, 50 years um, ago. So in a country like Tanzania, um, we lived, uh, we grew up in an environment where a lot of women uh, did not go to school. Um, so in terms of the power dynamics as uh, uh, za, za familia, already, you, you know, kuna uh, tatizo kwa sababu the man and I enjoy privilege kubwa sana na and I pass on to, you know, the kids. So you're mm. growing up knowing kwamba mimi staki kuingia um jikoni semi kwamba eti mimi napika kwa sababu nataja hebu ku challenge ku challenge hii notion lakini me even even i grew up kwenye mazingira ambayo you know the kitchen is not for me you know mm. i go to school and actually i was lucky kwa sababu nilikuwa naenda shule kwenye darasa moja na my sister lakini her work burden at the household level i kwa sawa sawa kwa me i literally mm. didn't have to do any work about ku safisha safisha you know kama yeah. kusafisha vyo my stuff like that yeah. but she had a massive burden to take um, to take um, care of and, and responsibilities and I mean I chase that. Mm. So already that now um, uh, conditions me into thinking that you know as a man stuck you kufanya um, mm. certain uh, roles na nini na you know Amazon is na kuwa but so now you being conditioned uh, to to think to feel like that na come on I take for granted auna reflexivity utaendelea ku perpetuate katika yeah. maisha yako mm. you know um na utakuwa unashangaa tu why is this being challenged what this is this is how things should be, mm -hmm. basically, and you know, so <laughs> with with dunia na wajika sana, you know, and but in sana kwa tu ni kwamba um, if if feminist movement in Avuzidi ku ku kuongezeka ni kwamba um, they are chipping away at our power. Yeah. Um, Mwana na yongeze yao wenye na dunia na wajika na yuko how notice, you know, um, ata ata in terms of rotation to a dunia, if it's so like it una notice kwamba okay. Uh, dunia na rotate, you don't notice it moving. Una nyo tumchana. Eh, una nyo tumchana usiku, una notice majira na wajirika, yeah. Yeah. you know, you're, you're not actively uh, seeing it change. So in a tokea ilo vipi katika ii realm ya, 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 you know, maisha ya, ya manaume. Yeah. Maisha na badilika sana, kusema kama una ujeshukua muda kukaa, kusema okay, how do I now begin to conduct myself differently? Mm. Yeah, inueze kumatch a dunia na voenda mm. if it's us. You know, kusabu in 10, 20 years, I mean, who knows? You know, yeah. and your daughter, yeah, atakuwa kwenye mazingira tofauti kabisa na ambayo my sister ame. He talked a little bit about reflexivity. Yes. Reflexivity. Yeah. Can it do the same as introspection? Um, almost, but I think uh, reflexivity goes um, a few miles uh, um, mbele ya hapo. Kusababu, I think unavu introspect, um, unezo kwa naangalia zaidi, um, you know, your internal and uh, whatever forces, but kuwa reflexive, ni kuwa conscious um, of your environment as a whole. You know, so ujiangalia tu mwenyewe lakini unaangalia actually um, kwenye case ya Smith ambayo tuna tuna discuss. I think angekuwa reflexive eh? much as you justified in, in mm. taking an action. Lazima kuna factors nyingine ongezi consider yeah. kama nilivyosema your career you yani, need that that very you know, old Smith <laughs> yeah, that exactly. alone is a big enough reason. Exactly. The exactly. message yeah. you're sending to yes, all yeah, the yeah, yeah, boys. Yes, exactly, exactly. Uh, how that will affect you. Na sio hivyo tu in fact with flexibility ingempelekea kufikiria hata what would that mean now to Chris Rock? Yeah. You know. Um yeah. Yeah, I think I, no, nobody's talking about that but you know you've you know smart man you know mbele ya very a lot of this uh, road man and our tour tour, <laughs> you know. Yeah. In the matter of like, you, you don't do that to me. Yeah. In the matter of like, that's not to go on your ebook, pal. And then I was, I was, I'm like, pal, that's not to go on your ebook. It's not to go on your ebook. But I'm not a shiva. When that happened, I'm not a shiva until I'm like, I'm not a shiva, I'm not a shiva, I'm not a shiva, I'm not a shiva. Yeah. You know, wow. Well, mm. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. It might be a little bit personal, so if not, just say, Stop, Michael, don't ask, I don't get it to talk. Mm. I hope what I give So, have you ever, <laughs> been, so. Have you ever been in a position about your, because you talk, I like what you talk about, could you, uh, could reflect, mm. you know? I like what you talk, have you ever had time to, I mean, growing up, have you ever had to actually do that? How to subconsciously, for you, you were aware of the environment, uh, time of what is now by the leak and I need to come over. So because of that, you were like, you know, as a man, I have to do better. Oh, you go some life lessons about this for yourself, like, hey, 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 hey. And then they had to humble you down. Yeah. No, nobody corrects. I don't, I don't think that's that's being humbled down. Mm -hmm. uh, see, that's necessary, kama uh, mukichukua your route, 
ni kwamba umechukua route ya um, humility because I, I, I just I plainly think it's just doing the right thing it is it is you know kwa sababu um, I don't I don't think this idea ya kwamba kuna kuna bidi kuwa na you know equality kwamba human be, other human beings matter mm. I don't think it's taught in a classroom yeah. um, setting um, so definitely na I would say hakuna mtu ambaye amezaliwa na hiyo flexibility Mm. Hakuna. Tena especially kwetu sisi it's easier to actually be the opposite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Na kuendelea ku um, ku ku, ku, ku perpetuate zile uh, you know um excuse stigma nini ambazo umezikuta the systems the structures ambazo mm-hmm. zinazo because it's just so easy in, that in way. benefit and and benefit mimi yeah. like why, why why would I challenge yeah. uh, uh, those uh, those things? Um, but um, definitely I think as you as you grow up now uh, uh, your view of life in in answer of body kind of change of course inatokana na experiences some very good some terrible horrible mm. zinakufundisha um, kwamba to um, actually live this world and live responsibly uh, you uh, need to change uh, the way you think about some um, some things mm. yeah it's not um, you know life is is, is is yes it is a constant struggle uh, for for power lakini what are you doing with that wow. with that power wow. yeah wow Mm. with great power comes great, great responsibility yeah. yeah shout out to Aunt May for that <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, I want I, I want us to dive a little bit of um we talked about kwamba issue tunazungumzia hapa zaidi ni communication na na na, na kwa nini we as men need to do better we need to improve na vitu kama hivyo so if you go back to Nadia talk about communication and mental health so one thing i think kwa sasa hivi a lot of us communicate we just don't communicate the right things sometimes mm-hmm. yeah so there are things we co- we when it comes to the art of communication we have the skill set we have the abilities to communicate now when you want to communicate like any that what the content of our communication that is where the problem lies na kwa nini kwa sababu wengi wetu sasa hivi we listen less and we talk more <laughs> ndio maana changamoto zinakuja. Ana si take kusikia point ya kusema kuelewa Michael unase unachokisema wewe unamaanisha nini au kimetokea wapi? Me I'm just trying to tell you what's in my mind wewe unielewe mimi. Sasa tukikaa hatutaki kuelewana changamoto zinaanza kwa sababu one now there's interpersonal conflict which is when we talk about mental health issues interpersonal issues can affect our mental health and well-being. And then they will come why is he not listening to me what is my problem so now <laughs> now kuna internal conflict mm. and turmoil that's going on which also affects our mental health also socially our social aspect is extremely important to us so kama mimi naona kwenye jamii watu wanisikilizi au point yangu haichukuliwi mm. then najiona siko part of this community which then affects also my mental health so ukiangalia the whole cycle affects us lakini like when we Tease, tease, tease. to know the biggest issue ni kwamba wote hatusikilizani mm. ya tusikilizi and sio kusikia kusikia na usikiliza ni vitu tofauti kusikia is wewe well, una uwezo you have the mechan- you know the mechanism ya ku take pick up sound <laughs> right mm. but kusikiliza is the sound you've heard what are the meanings what have you extracted umeelewa nini do you seek to understand more nadi akisema nimechoka leo unamaanisha nini umechoka leo kwa umefa, ume, like what's what's been happening for you today mm. unaweza ukamwambia mtu nimechoka lakini wewe umetoka kwa mka sasa hivi what is so guy kuna mwanzio ama stress huko hujajaribu kumuelewa mm. which one we are, we are contributing to each other's mental illnesses mm. or mental health problems mm. yeah Do you do you get do you get do you get I mean you do this thing for for a living so do you get to meet what about one of the traumas ambazo zimesababishwa I mean moja sababu za wao kwa na trauma is just because they cannot either they cannot communicate as in the case come either they feel like whatever they say you want to be misunderstood or they cannot just articulate uh, their thoughts and their feelings they're not listened to So the biggest thing as therapists we do is listen. So I talk here up and I feel like so what brings you today I don't know. I listen to what does that I don't know mean and I check are you feeling nervous? Mm. Yes. Nimemuelewa. Nime hiyo I don't know. Umesema I don't know lakini mimi nimeelewa. Kuna kitu behind that. And you try and unpack. 
ndo mtu anahisi okay u, ninasikilizwa yani you see me na ukiangalia a lot of these the suicide rates people communicate their struggles wanaongea mm. it's just that they don't say mimi natakujiua to yeah. your face mm. wengine wanasema ah, my yani, life is so dull these days that is them telling you mm. ninachoka yes oh anakaa na kwa unamuuliza okay so what, do, what what are your plans i have no i, have, I don't see anything mm. that is them communicating i am suicidal mm. but kwa sababu we don't listen we do not probe we do not get to find out we do not get to help with what nadia said just do you feel like then we best communicate we don't communicate at all um no kwanza ngoja ni ngoja ni ni kwa sababu hiyo communication communication is both uh, uh, speaking you know expressing yes. it's outward but it also it's also kusikia mm. you know and um, i feel like i strongly agree with with her kwamba uh, perhaps one of uh, the, the things that we struggle uh, with the most ni, ni, ni listening and then now that is being challenged i think mwanza kuongea social media hapo mm. um, utagundua kwamba um, now I, I think so with with social media now with the affordances that you know kila mtu anazo na na social media yeah. people can express themselves and you know, women are talking yeah. you know from bed to yeah. to zamani right yeah. totally you know where you know confirm issues za 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 sexual uh, um, healthier yeah. mwanaume na you know mm. sexual um, or fitness stamina vitu kama hivyo mm-hmm. uh, vinakuja kwenye kwenye public now na men have quite offended uh, by that because yeah, yeah we do get offended honestly <laughs> so i think at the end of the day so we get to um way down na 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 you know kitanisha kwamba tumezoea kwanza hatuna any uh, feedback loops now mm. we have an oversupply of, of feedback and we don't know what to do with it wow. nini so it's very easy kujiona inadequate yeah. uh, ukisikiliza if kama kama huko ile social media action ndio maana watu wengine wanaondoka social media mm-hmm. for their mental health kwa sababu ukikaa ukisikiliza if you're paying attention there's quite a, a, um, a lot of feedback ambayo hauitaki yeah. um, well it's useful but um, if you're not ready to to have if you can't tell over it you know stay out of this sorry the kitchen yeah and there's so much yeah you know so human beings there's just so much information we can hold yes, in yes. a moment sasa yeah. umo unakuwa bombarded with so much yeah. that it yeah. is a yeah so so before you get to the yeah. miscommunication and whatever whatever i like what you say about uh <laughs> Kuambiwa usitopenda kukisikia. Because sometimes that's how you grow. You know, yes, definitely, sometimes. Definitely. I mean, okay, obviously ni una pa feedback kwa mba Michael Mazingoa, we expect it better or oh, you look, I mean you do whatever. Una kupeleka report yako mtu anakwambia I'm not happy with it. What yes. do you do? You go back. Unaangalia to prove that you know it's not. Yeah. Like I think inapokuja kwenye I I I in a confano you took an example like So if I grabbed the kitu kwa mfano kama Michael Baruti you do this work kwa the unaishi hapa una kazi yako hii you do the podcast you know and and then leo hii uh, tuna account aza kwambia no I don't think you're good enough mm. I don't think kuna hiki na hiki I don't you get offended yeah very much so you, know, yeah. you really really do get offended now How, what I do after that is a whole other thing naweza kuona mshikaji the usual nikacha na unaweza nikachukua nikampiga na chupa it's 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 it can go we've seen fights like book above they come the kunya and then fights they book out of nowhere every time you need a sababu you like rather to make this change you move to be a change me kunya be a therapy ni chinji ni mshisha shilingi 2000 mm. in a book go go but you are sober you are like what, 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 what was that about <laughs> so i want to go back to point you the same comma sometimes kuambiwa usijitaka kuambiwa kutokana na information hiyo na vile ni shika katika different time but people speak out now yeah. nowadays people speak especially women uh, at our total yes yeah. yani, at our total they speak out. i get call of my, my daughter like every day you know she calls me out like mzee <laughs> vipi you know people people speak out yeah. and i feel like if we as men are to adjust na kukubaliana na hicho kitu it's gonna get worse yeah. so how do we get there This is for both of you. <laughs> and that's a challenge to all of us. Mm. You know, even we, to skills yeah, mm. yeah. we have to choose 
how we communicate kwa sababu sawa wote tuna haki ya kuongea ukweli wetu na kichochote kilichokuwa kwenye nafsi zetu au akili zetu whatever lakini you're not talking to yourself unaongea na binadamu wengine walikuwa na perspective zao tofauti mm. na za kwako huwezi ukaenda let's say and this is sex overly simplified I can use religion because that's like we know it's very simple. Wazu kaingia msikitini ukasema nyinyi mnachokia budu ni kosa. Mm. You are disrespecting another human being na faith yake for example. Mm. Yeah, and that's a very I think it's a big, it's a simple example that we know in our societies hold very strong nanili beliefs. That's the same with human beings. Mimi na beliefs zangu una kuja una ni challenge to if any mm. roughly in my face without any empathy kweli. Lazima mm. tutagombana. Yeah. Wewe utadefend ya kwako na mimi nitadefend point yangu. Yeah. And mwisho wa siku wewe utonisikia mimi sitokusikia. Yeah. Because of the approach you chose. Lakini ukiingia with wanting to understand. Let's say nimeona Michael unaishi hivi mtoto wako unamwachia mtoto unamwachia hiyo daughter tu anakuja kufokea wapa. Mimi naona eh hey, this is not acceptable. So sasa nikaja nikwambia Michael, uje kule mtu. Wapo sio mwanaume au uje kule mtu wako? Excuse me, umeza. Chinara ni yeye. Na mimi ukija na hisi ukataka kuelewa mbona how come your daughter speaks to you like this? Nani eh what are your dynamics? Then you share your point. Wao wewe tukamfuata mtu ukampa advice zako kama zote utake ta kumuelewa. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So we need to know how to choose the way we give feedback or give advice or give comments or how we communicate with others. But yeah. but, 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 but but when we communicate as men what do we seek? Kwangu mimi nadhani ni nadhani ni swala rahisi sana kwa sababu yes yeah I think we are driven by uh, this need to be in control and so actually the way I think about it ni kama you you are a football fan so you yeah. you understand the sport idea oh, you are bro <laughs> he's a bro bro <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so kuna offense na kuna defense mm-hmm. you know um, anything that happens in between up uh, it, it's either contributing to the offense yeah. or the, mm-hmm. the defense so you communicate uh, offense manake una 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 una, una seek control una jaribu ku establish kwa set mm. your dominance your power i think these are the struggles that we see now on social media because yes. you cannot be irrelevant as a man you have to you have to be lazima mimi ni jibu nijulikane mimi nipo i'm here nipo tuna tuna piga ni hicho and then kuna the defensive now side kwa sababu mtu mwingine labda anajaribu ku assert their control so you have to have a defense mechanism um reaction here with smith yeah, you know yeah. My, yeah. my wife's yeah 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 so so i, th- I think those are two primary motives for us yeah. they, they center around kubakiza nafasi yetu kama eh, you know miamba mm. wababe wow. na, you know men men yeah men. i've never really looked at it that way <laughs> yeah i've never really looked at it that way <laughs> so but, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, hey, that was a light bulb for me. Yeah, it was so fast. Um yes, I think reaction ya ya Jada ilionesha kidogo kama maybe akupenda. And a lot of people didn't get the joke at yes, first. Yes. No, they did not get the they did not understand Jada's yes, reaction to you. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Paka baadaye when it, when they started to read you like, "Oh wow." Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yeah. So so within huo muda, it's not like I negotiate, really negotiate na 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 Jada kwamba are you happy with this? No, I'm not happy. Mm. Okay. Now I'm standing up. Naenda no kwa mm. it was just a you know a knee jerk reaction yeah. akaamua uh, tukamba huyu uh, yuko um, offended na 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 he comment was uh, maybe angekanga msikiza ngambe no just yeah. to dia yeah. um, and stuff like that so it's actually it was a defense um, um, mechanism so okay umeni attack ume attack my my family yeah. you know sio wewe uliokuwa attack ni mm. jeda but you know she's not your possession your possession yeah. yeah. uh, mm-hmm. really um she is your partner um kulikuwa na, na nafasi labda ya kumsikiliza anataka ufanyeje kuhusu this yeah. you know um a uh, utani ambao umekuwa thrown mm-hmm. away um no hakuna hakuna chance ya kufanya hivyo ni yeah. yeah so i like the narrative of your football combo with your friend mm-hmm. or oh, oh, anything for 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 So how do you strike the balance? <laughs> do we bring the midfield now? Because yeah, yeah, it's easy. Can you can you can you narrow to me so that in this year we have the midfield and substitution combo to you. How how to not 
utaratibu wa jani kama ni mali tuna considific kitu ambacho hatutakagi but it takes it happens kwa nini mnacheza masaa yote siku unapoga na ni whatever yeah that is reflection tuna reflect uanjani jamani tumefanya nini what we attacked more did we have to defend more what was happening Yeah. yeah. The, the only thing the only challenge I see with that is that I don't think a lot of us actually get to do that. Mm. Yeah. That's the only thing I see. Yeah. Kwa sababu <laughs> anything that involves coca kujitafakari yeah, na yeah, kujifikiria yeah. yeah. is not something we want to do. Kwa sababu niweza nikajua kweli ya talk. Yaani ni kazi ya kiweza kuja hapo. And then what do you know about it? Yaani bibi kama bibi kama Michael say I have to talk. Yaani nitaenda zangu nyingi. And that's not something that I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it takes a lot. It takes mm. I would say it takes super strength or super human. Kuweza mm. kusema kwamba yani okay guys, you know I need to do better. I need to improve kwenye hiki. I need to improve kwenye hiki na ile match kama hiki. Na ndio maana mwanzo nika nikauliza kwamba yani as men when we communicate what do we say? Ambacho uh, justice and give vizuri sana kuna only two options here. Mm. You know, you either who you want, we want to offend or we want to defend. Mm. Hakuna really hakuna between. Hakuna, hakuna. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, I think actually eh um lengo ni inabidi inabidi iwe neutral. Um communication yetu yote haipaswi ku kufanya either ku assert dominance or ku defend um sana hapo. It should be it should be neutral. Um uh, really it's it's very difficult to get there. Um but I think squeeze kuna vitu ambavyo ni, ni fundamental ambavyo na unagundua kwamba mtu inabidi awe awe navyo. Maybe zamani tusitungedhani mtu anatakiwa ajifunze profession yake na profession yake ni master vizuri na nini au ujui kwamba Uh, vitu kama critical thinking you know this high order um, skills yeah. zinachangia sana kumsaidia mtu um, kuweza ku shape mentality yake towards some of those things so it has to be a conscious effort um, to say i do no harm basically you know so si sitaki ku uh, communicate in a way that hurts um, if it's a pain on another person uh, lakini pia anatajaribu ku create mazingira ambayo um that is not done to me um, mm. as well so now it's tricky because it depends on other people now. but but but, yeah. but so you're a father and i know yes. you're a son yeah 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 so how are you i mean how are you unachukua hayo mawazo and then they are shaving you for your very quite your little man well um it's a, <laughs> it's a, how it's a, old is he now it's a lifelong process uh, he's uh, six turning seven in september yeah. um uh, but kusema kweli there's so much that i learned from uh, bringing yangu mimi mwenyewe and especially nikiangalia values ambazo my my dad um, tried to impart on on us um uh, kwa mfano um so very weird thing about me let me say yeah in, this is a public platform yeah. 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 um ni seme regardless i will give someone a tip but i'll say asante you know on top of it i i do that i you know i i you know, do someone a favor yeah and and say asante you know so he was a disciplinarian in a way and na pela sana mambo ya language kwa hiyo you couldn't say um he said like vitu kama kusema haya kafanya hiki na hiki haya sema no 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 that's not proper language you're supposed to say sawa you know and you know so ina 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 ku train kidogo kidogo kwa kujaribu kuelewa um you know values how you conduct yourself um mbele ya watu of course kuna influences nyingi sana ambazo zimeingia hapa katikati mm-hmm. katika maisha yangu lakini even with my son um kidogo kidogo najaribu kumjengea um mm. some of those um, kwa mfano now the word asante is you know he just he says it um, actually leo to as i so because he's, he's uh, falling a bit sick eh? yeah. um and a bacterial infection so ame uh, tapika you know kabla mimi sija um, sijaondoka kwenda na kwenye mambo mengine so he, he he vomited and then he came back um, i was calling him uh, when you know he was saying ana tumbo linamuuma kidogo so akatoka akaenda akasema anaenda kuvomit akaenda akavomit uh, karudi mambo mengine akaendelea sana mimi nimeshika vitu vingine and then baada ya muda akaenda kwa mama yake akamwambia uh, baba didn't say sorry Wow. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so I, I have to apologize yeah kabili ni mimi apologize ni mwambie ni mwambie sorry uh, lakini that's something that we have slowly we're trying to build uh, growing in, up in, but you yeah. don't know what to say I was a kid never 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 you never I, 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 I remember never. I remember this one day um, to go to the homework na Jan so Jan is my first born tunafanya naye homework and then mimi nikamwambia kitu mwalimu wake alikuwa amefundisha hapo na tunajua watoto na walimu wao wanasikiza yeye walimu kuliko wazazi wake kwa hiyo sio la homework yeah. so mimi nikaribu kufundisha kitu and then mimi nikamundua i was wrong so i was like you know what mimi ndo nimekosea 
and then I've got cut to to make any to to move to another quarter. Yeah. So I never knew how to make it. See, Daddy, I told you you were wrong. I tell you. So I was like, okay, I am sorry. I was wrong. I was wrong. I'm too many. I'm going to be telling my mother. What? 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 Are you saying sorry to a five-year-old for you? What? Like what is wrong with you? And I'm like. But this is how we unpack and yeah. try to change the narrative, you yeah. know? We grew up katika kipindi ambacho it doesn't matter mzazi anakuambia nini lakini mzazi kosa mko mzazi akosei. Akosei. Mm. They are always right. Yaani mzazi akosei mzazi is always right. So yeah. you kwa mtoto kwenda it's it's one thing to say but for him to be bold enough to say no why didn't you say? It? Yeah. Mm. That's that's huge man. You you have the right track my guy. Yeah. <laughs> When you parent you you are serious on the right track. Trying trying it's yeah. one of many many things to uh, to consider some of Yeah. It's not and, and you have to be conscious about it. You have yes. to. You have you, you must. Yeah. yeah. You can. Yeah yeah yeah. Kuna watu kwenye autopilot. And that's how we end up producing adults who you know cannot communicate. Cannot communicate. Yeah. Yeah. And when we speak about communicating because sababu tukiongelea mambo ya suicide or mental health we are boiling down to emotional health yeah unless someone yes uh, develops uh, a psychotic disorder or something that is linked to genetics and had a, a mm. trigger of sorts but like you can get mental well-being a lot of us struggle with our mental health not kwamba tuna mental illness ila is just we are not our we're not navigating through our emotions because that's the one thing the society the world schools don't teach us when come i to apologize that's you're teaching them that your feelings matter mm to akiku like if they hurt your feelings or they make you feel a certain way you should commit because that's how you heal that feeling so no like i am hurt my father hajaniambi apole and then one bit i'm my i'm feeling ill right <laughs> So angeyeka ndani ingeanza kuumla babangu anipendi yeah. hanijali hanioni mm, mm. you know but the fact that I'm communicating that didn't say sorry imemuumiza ndio maana akasema hivyo and the minute that happens you teach them that it's okay you feel hurt that's okay it's normal we're humans yeah. we have emotions a mm. big range of them and it's okay to express it it's okay for others to acknowledge it mm. and that's how the emotion in our doka he doesn't need to stay with that didn't say sorry that already said sorry mm. he goes on with his day mm. doesn't sit with the time kandamis mm. you know just like with your daughter mm. she was there telling she's frustrated probably <laughs> trying to get it all right hey bro hey bro i was like <laughs> My yeah. bad. I was wrong. Yeah. I'm sorry. Good thing she didn't say I told you so. Mom, para que não tu te ligar. I didn't wish I could. I didn't wish I could. I think you know, the future generation, for us we have the obligation and duty to reflect introspect and reflect because mm-hmm. go inwards unifahamu and then angalia na your the, your surrounding mm-hmm. and try yeah. to understand and consolidate the two mm-hmm. for harmony kwa sababu mm-hmm. wish duniani peke yako yeah um but when it comes to the next generation we need to start thinking of how do we allow children to express emotions in a healthy manner kwa sababu suicide is especially I, i feel like especially for boys especially for boys yes. i feel like for, for a lot of girls growing up they they have room you know yes. the relationship a lot of girls not their mothers their aunties mm. and i'm looking at co- co- context of tanzania their mothers their aunties nani okay. nani never so there's all that but but for men It's, it's different. You know I have people who are mikua baba baba can be a cap so magazine. You whether you want it or you don't. Una cap pale una so magazine. Ukimaliza pale sana kwa mbona enda. Yaani you know so huyo mtu how do you expect that person now aweze kuja kuwa mm. anaweza communicate vizuri. Mm. Yeah. You know you have people who are mikua baba akija akisikia umefanya kosa akiambiwa no time ya kukosa ni bakora tu yani sasa shukuru Mungu mpiga bako kuna nyingine we have story about mtu anakwambia mshika ametundikwa kwenye mti kichwa chini miguu juu mzee akachukua mkanda akaanza kutani we have those cases you know and then now how do you expect him to come huyo akiwa mkubwa nao aweze kukaa of course najua pendeze kaza urobisho wa twitter sio wote tunachapa watoto wa watachapi lakini point is How do you expect that person now akiwa mkubwa aweze kuji kuji express na communicate mm. vizuri? Yeah. And goes back also to this 
um, aggression is acceptable in men. It's mm. an acceptable emotion. Kwa hiyo kiangalia nor the gender norms. Wanawake Mwanamke ki express anger is very unladylike. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not okay for women to express anger or pride. Mm. All of the confidence. Mwanamke, you must be humble. <laughs> like you need those same emotions for a man. Anger, yeah. pride, confidence are celebrated. So kiangalia hata our illnesses to when we come to our mental health. Wanawake wengi, depression wengi kwa sababu now they're not perhaps they're angry at their spouse. Mm-hmm. family or someone you know they have this con- they're not allowed to project that they are capable or they are confident in themselves or their pride any of that mm-hmm. inakuwa internalized mm-hmm. yeah and because for them sadness these emotions are acceptable that's the that that is where they end up so depression is excessive sadness so like I'm too I cannot be confident and prideful and that is me being true to myself I can't be true to myself I can be sad. Mm. Mm. And that is acceptable. What what I mean? What I mean, they will accept me. Compared to if I'm prideful and confident, they will not they will reject me. Mm. So unaona women, ukiangalia a lot of the statistics, there a lot of the the mental health struggles women go through are in line with the emotions they are allowed or not allowed to experience. And for men, why is suicide so high in men? Men are, it's acceptable for a man to project aggression, anger, yeah. violence. So when it comes to being suicidal it's there's excessive sadness and an aumia there's pain but they're not able to communicate the only thing they're able to express is aggression violence so they express it inward towards suicide is just excessive aggression towards oneself and you can see how men commit suicide hey, yeah. aggressively there is no <laughs> chance for survival mm-hmm. it's like they go in for a kill. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but women, the means are different. Yeah, the means are different. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, literally as men, to enter pride, you have to talk with you. Yeah, 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 and so, Ukiangalia, the biggest thing there is now just teaching people to be emotionally intelligent. Mm. From an early age as parents as society we can coach kids to be okay with expressing and yeah. we can be okay with them expressing. Mm-hmm. So kama ile mtoto wa kiume analia usilie wanaume hawalie unamfundisha nini? The soft emotions juu ya kulia nini usilie wewe kama una hasira eh unaona huyu mbabe mpiga wewe na kupiga wewe unaona wewe unaona wewe unamfundisha na tuna mbabe wa mtaa tu yani growing up mbabe wa mtaa mbabe wa shule growing up we were very common and then we were going to the yeah 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 you are good yeah so all of that affects our communication eh? yeah especially when when as we are talking about there's things that we don't communicate about man to not communicate like any not the important like the vital things that will in turn in a way greatly impact our mental health yeah and uh, and uh, um, um I, I want to talk a little bit about how do you this is from a personal experience as well mm. how do you how do you deal with the things that you know what I hear it happens I mean sometimes what I call or give it above you or take a visa go skier you know yeah me should go get intervention of family and back in the days of that can I compare with Michael Joe car for that I was like okay this is an intervention I can chat na kuli kweli pale kuvumilia sana kwa bro sister nani the bro he has a so bad any intervention was like what it's yeah, happening yeah. to me you know so how, how 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 do you deal with that well you personal but also I mean if you have an idea about we as men how should we deal with that yeah um so as a person kwanza um imekuwa ni learning process ambayo imechukua imechukua muda mrefu um, sana i think uli oh, sema kidogo personally actually working um, in the consulting uh, business mm. inasaidia sana kusaidia you know to develop thick skin yeah. you know because we're you constantly you're constantly uh, uh, sending uh, dealing with different people different personalities mm. uh, sending them your work and you have to accept the feedback always uka always uka susa so i think that that professional line actually needs idea sana na actually this is not just one thing ambayo imeni saidia the professional um, life imeni saidia with my personal um, uh, growth 
Um, lakini I think as a whole na nadhani hii ni, ni kitu ambacho kinaweza kikatumiwa na mtu mwingine um, yoyote. Fault um, <coughs> trap kubwa sana ambayo tunajikuta um, uh, in ni kuangalia maisha as sort of um, binary ni kwamba kuna 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 you either good or you bad you either successful or mm. failure you either tuna tuna, tuna changamoto hiyo kubwa um, sana especially sisi um wanaume kusabi your drive nini ya kutaka kuwa someone you know um, um so inasaidia sana kwa na mentality ya, ya kwamba event haiku haiku define i define uh, uh, mwisho wako kujua kwamba maisha is uh, an amalgamation of so many uh, things experiences events na nini so one event um, uh, feedback to kwa mtu mmoja haimaanishi kwamba um, it's not it's not final um, mm. uh, kwenye 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 maisha yako um, so that that really really helps when it comes to now uh, when you have to hear these things that you are you know un, uncomfortable with or you know unwanted completely um, to know that you know you can you have some many other things that you can fall back mm. uh, on na maisha yakaendelea um kama kawaida yes um and that pamoja na kwamba um <clears throat> if what is being communicated is important to the other person uh, and i mean mesha more that that other person is important then their feelings are valid their feelings mm. matter so that's that's important yes uh, naweza nika nikajikaza nikajifanya na moyo mgumu mwisho siku nikaishia kama farao kwenye biblia <laughs> Yeah. I I said same zote. Yeah. Yeah, in most cases I said yeah. yes yeah kwa sababu you end up just piling up you know pressure on yourself uh, on the quality of your life like in your so na una affect pia um watu wengine who are close to close to you na penda sana mfano ulio uliosema wa intervention yeah. um because you can imagine I think driver kwa kwa hiyo pa itakuwa ni kwamba my family uh, watu ambao care about yeah, me the most that, yeah and I think yeah. for me it was yeah. Everything I said, I, I, any, I had not that comment was coming from a place of love. Yeah. You get it. Any, I know that this is my brother, this yes. is my mom, this is my sister. So these are the people who have been there for me, yeah. will always be there for mm-hmm. me. Yes, and yes. not on no matter what. So whatever it is that they're saying, it comes from a place of love. But yeah. also, they know me. So how is going and see you on that show again? I prefer to let me share on a pig of your cup of cola. Oh yeah. 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 As we are winding up, just as you've talked about um, experience, Yako, you've talked about your understanding, you also talked about how you've worked on the terms of feedback and the communication of it come out. If there's one thing you would love for people to pick up from, I love this question. If there's one thing you love to people, people to pick from all the conversation we've had today, mm. if there's one thing yeah. you'd like for them <laughs> to get from this particular conversation, what would that be? Mm. Yeah, so in a way I think nili sema tayari mwanzoni um, quality moja that is in very short supply that we really need that is really really helpful ni ni reflexivity um eh mambo niliongelea uwezo uh, wa kujichunguza uh, ina, ina include introspection tumeiongelea kwa, kwa kiasi kikubwa hapa um, lakini beyond that to be just aware of your environment the environment around you and to be able to say um you know actions zangu zina determine um, outcomes kwa mtu mwingine and those mm-hmm. can be positive positive or negative um outcomes um so that that's a very useful um thing to have yeah. Um, yeah. In, t- in terms of inside idea pia kuondoa all these things that we take for granted mm. um you know um you know life life isn't isn't like that so structures imeshajengwa tayari lakini not for you to just leave them you know they have to be challenged when they have to be challenged when yeah. they are oppressive when they are negative when they are retrogressive they have to be to be challenged so without reflexivity um how ways you could care to I um let me challenge my own world views let me challenge uh, my own um, um uh, behaviors and things and thinkings and beliefs um ili um um dunia iweze kusonga um kusonga mbele otherwise takuwa tu a pile of um uh, problems na hakuna a way out if we can't sit down and say okay um hapa kuna kuna haja kwanza ya kufanya uh, kitu about the situation lakini pia um this is the role that i have to play in yeah. in, in, in effecting that change yeah mm. yeah wow. 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 um i'd say seek to understand people 
um, that's when we can be understood as well. Mm. Yeah, so to skill is an, like listening is a, and it's a, an, an important part of communication. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu kama hao skills then ata unachokisema kinaweza kisiwe appropriate mm. in that context. Yeah. So we should learn to listen to one another. So just hearing, we should really like l- learn to listen um, and try to understand because mm-hmm. what is not okay from different walks of life hata kama tumekuwa wote mtaa mmoja we are living in different households we are coming from parents of different backgrounds perhaps with their own experiences so wote ukiangalia tunaweza hata kids growing up in the same house wana talk about different challenges mm-hmm. just because of the interactions that they're having so let's i think biggest part before you want you expect someone else to hear you and really understand you try for us to hear and understand them. Mm-hmm. I think if we all embody that then communication will be simple. So yeah, I mean there's really nothing more for me to add. As men we just need to do better man. Yes. We just need to do better, we just need to be better and then again if you know better you do better. Mm-hmm. I'd like to think. Yes. Yeah. This is why we do what we do and this is why we have this kind of conversation called the podcast is because is the only way that we improve nikama to kind of a conversation cuz yana swazima yeah a lot of issue about not to zungo ka justice thank you for coming through my guy i know it's a saturday you mm-hmm. had to drop i mean the date of your recording is a saturday <laughs> so you had to you listen to it on um, friday when we drop so you know you've had to drop us some stuff to come and do yeah. um this thing with us we appreciate it if people want to reach out to you for comms consultants na vitu kama hivyo how do they go about it Um, so the website I think is the easiest. Yes. Uh, so it's idev.co.tz uh, mm-hmm. which is i d e v.co.tz. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sisi tumeanza ku comply na co.tz za maisha. Yes. That's the best way to reach out to Justice. Now he's a pure 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 comms guy. Kwa hiyo kama una matatizo ya communication Uh, as an organization mm. I cannot say as an individual as an individual more than I yes yes but yeah but it's like to be nice to more than I so now you might want us to see on Twitter and Instagram there's a link on the bio yeah come on come on to the website or there's a question and I again you can DM you can number number still I tell I tell you the same thing about the message my app so you know I mean the choice is yours really really the skills of the choice is yours self communication <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I've read the podcast on Twitter, I've read the podcast on Instagram, um, on in Facebook as well. Remember, we are back on Spotify, Audio Mac, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Boom Play, uh, uh, now a lot of other places and more you can listen to your podcast. Uh, give us a rating, share, um, you know, tell everybody else come on, man, 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 the podcast is back. Go visit our website too. Yes. Yes, mentalpodcast.com. It's not com, right? <laughs> It is not com. <laughs> It's www.mentalpodcast.com. A lot of things are coming. I'm about to to share through the uh, through the website. So, go check it out. Till next time. Peace. Men 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 the podcast.